Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, hey guys, how's it going? I don't know if it started too early there. Uh, back with a, uh, it's been, I guess, almost three months or so since my last video. Uh, I just wanted to show, I haven't bought too much, mostly CDs, a few um, records, and more on the way. I just didn't feel like, I felt like posting something. I have a little time on my hands right now, so I'm going to show uh, some stuff that I picked up. I'm going to try and get through this quick. Not that there's a lot, I just don't want to ramble. Uh, first one is Modest Mouse's The Lonesome Crowded West. Uh, this is the reissue uh, that was that uh, Glacial Pace Records uh, put out a few a few uh, weeks ago. Uh, this is originally out in 1997 on uh, on Up Records, I believe. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I like it. Uh, it's, I, I mean, the album was one of my favorite albums of all time. Um, the uh, the the packaging came in like two different like sleeves, and I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, and this isn't the the colored vinyl. Uh, I got the uh, regular, just black. It, it sounds good. Um, I just don't like the, the two, it's like two separate pieces, like separate packaging. I'm not a huge fan of that. But other than that, uh, I can't complain. And I didn't have, I got it on vinyl. I didn't have to spend a couple, you know, hundred dollars. Another piece of Modest Mouse music is, this is, uh, Sorry, I hope this video is coming out okay. Um, it seems to be breaking up quite a bit. Um, this is uh, We Were Dead Before the Ship Even Sank. Uh, this is, I think, from 2007. Uh, probably, definitely not my favorite Modest Mouse record. Um, that would actually be Lonesome Crowded West. Um, but still good. I got this really cheap off of uh, Best Buy, actually. So I think it was like 10 bucks ish uh, in, that, in that neighborhood. So I picked it up. Uh, these next two aren't new at all, I just never showed them for whatever reason. Uh, they're both by the same band. Uh, this is the Late Bloomer. Uh, this is their first uh, full length, I believe. Um, and this is on Self-Aware Records. And uh, their follow-up, which came out a few months back, which is actually really, really good. Um, I like it more than their first album. Uh, this is uh, Things Change. Uh, really good. Uh, I don't really know how I would describe them. Just like a... I don't know. I'm not going to try and describe them, just uh, so maybe you can go check them out. Uh, I like them a lot, uh, though. I like this, like I said. I like their latest release more than their first one, but it's still very good. I got them both. They were like two off their website. It was like two. If you got both of them, it was 20 bucks. Uh, now, a pretty good stack of CDs. Uh, first up is Block Party, A Weekend in the City. Um, I like, uh, what, actually, a Silent Alarm, uh, the band's debut. It's probably one of my favorite albums of all time, uh, and Weekend in the City is a lot like that. It's not as good in my opinion, but um, it's still good. And then after this, I kind of, uh, I'm not a huge fan of their later stuff, but um, that album is actually very good, um, so I picked it up. Uh, next is, uh, and you will know us by the Trail of Dead. Uh, this is um, World Apart. Uh, this is my first foray into, uh, and you will know us by the Trail of Dead. Uh, really, really liked it, actually. I don't know where I came across them. I think it was on some list online, and I checked it out, and it was, it was actually really up my alley. I uh, dug it a lot. Definitely will be buying more of that band. Uh, next is uh, Built to Spill's There's Nothing Wrong with Love. Uh, they, I'm not a huge Built to Spill fan. This is definitely my favorite album by them. This has Car on it, which I think is one of their more popular songs. Um, but this album actually is, is very, very good. Uh, it's definitely my favorite by the band. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of Built to Spill, but uh, this, uh, this one is, is pretty awesome. I have to get more. I have, I have one of their other albums. Uh, I have, uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't read it. I don't know the title, so I'm not going to try. Uh, next up, two, uh, two Braid albums. First one is uh, Frame and Canvas, and the next one is um, Frankie, Welfare, uh, Frankie Welfare Boy, age five. Um, so, uh, yeah, I like Braid uh, a lot. I like uh, Hey Mercedes as well. Probably more than I like Braid. Um, a few of the guys from, that band, from Braid are in that. Um, I think that formed after uh, the band had broken up. Uh, yeah. You know, it's good. It's uh, great. Actually, their newest album, which came out earlier this year on, um, I think, Top Shelf, is actually really good. Um, definitely recommend it. Uh, now, two albums I wasn't too uh, into. The first one is uh, The Faint uh, Dance uh, McCabe. I can't pronounce 
that word. I don't know why. Even when I read it in stories and in uh, stuff like that, I can't pronounce it. But not a huge fan of, of the paint. It was only a dollar. And uh, this one is Sunny Day Real Estate's um, The Rising Tide. Definitely not a fan of this either. I like their first two albums. Uh, I have um, I have the first album. I, I, th I, I can't think of the name right now. Um, it's bothering me. Diary, sorry. I have that on vinyl, but uh, this one wasn't my cup of tea. Uh, next is Pavement's uh, Major League, uh, Major Leagues uh, EP. I uh, really like this. I'm not a huge Pavement fan, but uh, this one I did like. Um, so I have to get more of their stuff. Uh, this is uh, Page of the Lions, uh, Winners Never Quit. This is off Jade Tree. Um, yeah, I, I actually, it's weird. I don't like, I'm not a huge fan of Pavement. I shouldn't say I don't like them. I'm not a huge fan. But I do really, really like uh, Page of the Lion. They're kind of in the same vein, that 90s, I guess, emo or indie, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, this I picked up another, uh, a couple months back, I picked up one of their, I think it was their first LP um, in, on CD, and this was their uh, second. Um, and then last but not least is uh, Bjork's uh, Homogenic. Uh, a big Bjork fan. Only started getting into her really last, within the last year or so. Uh, this is my second um, purchase of hers. Um, I have this and Velsperin, I think it's called. Um, so, yeah, that's what I got. Uh, tried to do that as quick as I could, and it only took seven minutes. So uh, that's it, guys. I'm going to have another video probably within a week or two. I, I kind of splurged a little bit this past week and picked up uh, four records, and I may order some more um, via Black Friday. Um, so everybody out there, uh, if I don't talk to you, have a nice Thanksgiving, and I'll see you after.